Hello guys, this is CS Sandeep Modi. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn a very basic and you can say a painful area, basic but painful area about rounding off. Means we all deal with numbers when we are dealing with Excel. So rounding off errors, you can say you can do manually, but it's time consuming. And this might be a two minutes job or five minutes job. As you can see, this is three decimal digit somewhere it's four decimal so reading such kind of data is also very tough so first thumb rule when we are dealing with numbers they should be in the single format or single layout for example here four digit uh, decimals are in four digits here it's in three digits it's not easy to read such kind of data so first thing first thumb rule is that always whatsoever number is there always convert into a decim a comma separator as you can see and all the decimals should be in the two digits three digits it should be similar it should not be that some numbers are in three digits and some are in two that is the first rule now let me convert this 25000.3790 and use rounding of formula rounding of formula is easy first number and then till how much decimals you want two decimals i'm writing two you will get it two decimals if you want three you can write three here instead of two that you can do as per your requirement now rounding off up means it will give you the upper end of round off let me show you all the formulas are there in the excel sheet you can take a screenshot here i want up you can see we got one value up even if it would be three year instead of eight i would get four and here let me put it four then also 34 because it's up now let me put here rounding down tap and here comma two digits enter as you can see round down will give you the value below it for example here um 699 as you can see we still getting six and here let me put it one here we are getting five point five in fact five six is there then also we are getting 0.5 because we are using round down formula your m round formula as you can see let me show you what is the meaning of m m round if you are not able to understand any formula you can click on it it will open what's the meaning of it other this is mac 360 i'm on mac 365 version of excel but for others users also they can click on the formula and it will give you what formula does m round returns the number rounded off to the desired multiple for you i want this number nearest number which is multiplied by three so i will get four zero zero two if you want nearest number which is multiplied by two you will get four thousand if you want one it will give you 4000 4000 because it's nearest to 4 so everything is multiplied by 1 that's why it's giving the nearest number and here it's gave you 4000 so this is how you can use round off formulas now many times while using a formula round off here as you can see i'm converting dollars particular value into indian rupee this is the dollar price so this is the simple multiplication which i have done so many times we multiply first into rates and then again use rounding of formula as you can see two formulas or two columns are there so first is this multiplication and second means this is first multiplication and then again we will use round of formula but if you want to use both the formula together or one step you can simply use like this round up formula or round formula simply with any formula like this there is no rocket science involved in this 
means what you have to do you have to just first write what formula you want this formula i want i am writing this formula and i am getting this answer and then after equal to you have to just start writing round up or down or m round as your requirement is you can use the formula and this is the number part and i need two digits you can close the bracket and this is for rounding off how to use with formula with round off but any other formula also if you want to use nasty formulas together for example if you want to use this formula with v lookup also or x lookup anything else if with if error also you can simply use this trick that first write the main formula and then start adding the formula as i have done it of round off now simply in one formula you can copy paste it here you go got the answer this was all about round off now one more thing we are going to deal with this in this video is uh, how to create a drop down list in this excel means for example you have certain data with you and you want users to select certain data as per your format only means here you cannot write anything else and this it will give you an error like this drop down list you have to create this is very simple in excel you have to go under the tab data data validation your data validation select settings your options are there i am going in list and then where your drop down list is you can select your drop down list from here and apply and now you got the now let me show you again if you are not able to understand you can repeat this video i am cell i am on this cell e18 data validation you any by default any value is there list your source i am writing or you can just simply in source select the data it will automatically come and then put okay and here we go we got a drop down list now if you copy and paste it everywhere you will get everything same if you want a blank space also you can validate wait cancel here if you want blank space also you you can add 22 22 because let me again write it source you i am selecting one blank cell also now if you want nothing to be there you can select blank also so this is the trick which can be used for you for creating your data validation or drop down list uh, in the next video i will explain all the circle invalid data clear validation circle data validations in all other tabs this we will cover in next video thank you for watching our video if you liked our video please like share subscribe our channel thank you have a nice day